dark g'day as you probably have noticed from our two previous episodes that we are both no film stars and no naturals on video hopefully over time this will improve also our sound recording is not yet up to par external microphones are in the mail and so is the three axis gimbal that should improve greatly the camera stabilization the GoPro Hero 4 has no image stabilization so that's what we're dealing with at the moment anyway in this episode we are going to cover the progress with more columns fence post preparations we'll also have a closer look at how scaffolding is handled here with coco lumber also the water well seems to progress although later we find out that this hole will end before we reach water so let's get this show on the road
Now let's have a look at uh, the artists from the design department. This is the view from the northeast with the kitchen in the front corner right. This we have the overview of house and garage, the front section. Moving on to the floor plan. The total floor area is 198 square meters. 62 square meters are covered patios and 136 square meters is the inside of the house. The master suite with CR and bedroom is 34 square meters. Dining and living area for the inside only is 32 square meters and the big kitchen area is 36 square meters. The dimensions are 11 meters by 18 meters. And we are moving on to the floor plan of the garage. It's basically a two car garage, parking for motorbikes and a little workshop. Also the generator will be housed there. Total floor area inside is 53 square meters. So that makes the total covered area 251 square meters. Front and rear elevations will show some aspects of the house, mainly the top ventilation, the accents and the covered main entrance. This is an artist's impression from the view from the west and the view from the northwest as seen from Mount Talinis. Ayong buntag. Say hi to the Philippines. Five months. <laughs> Five months, ne? <laughs> okay, S simple raman. Anara is rectangular. So it's looking good. Gisan san ng maayo. Ana na lang ibis magsinsil. Ibisingan ba? Bayan na kaya So this is the master bedroom, the master CR. This is CR, master CR, master bedroom, this west patio. I think it looks solid. This is the corner of the bed. It's angle. Angle. Corner of the house. Why it's angle? Because it comes like this and then all like this. So this is 
the patio going there. Stop the fence digging. Yeah. Only on that side. The south side. On the south side, yeah. Lichon. Asang baboy. of the Coco Lumber.
this. Masa saya kosong saja, pun pun nak di dalam, macam ni ada potong. Let's talk about mixing concrete. The strongest mix would be one, two, three, which means one bag of cement, two bags of sand, and three bags of washed gravel. And I started off here with three bags of washed gravel, then the cement, and then water. So next will be two bags of cement, uh, of uh, sand. There's one. There is two. looks like they're taking a third one so this mix is 133 which is not as solid it's basically one step down from 123 using that for the columns most likely to get better into the crevices from the rebar
There's a honeycomb there. Okay. Here. What we are looking at here is a problem that is called honeycombing, where there are voids in the column, which means the concrete didn't fill all the crevices. This was a mild occurrence. I discussed that with the builder and with no discussion. The foreman and a handful of workers were gathered and they were addressing the problem. So basically what we are going to do is we will fill up the foot further so we can cover the honeycomb which is luckily at the bottom. Mixing the concrete for this specific purpose. Now this honeycomb we found here was the only one and because we got the message through that we don't accept this, no more happened. That's the good thing if you are on the building site on a frequent basis, you can see what's happening before it is covered up and you can address it right away without us being there we probably would never have seen that because that footer would have been covered up and the problem was hidden but as we can see we are fixing it right away In the next episode, we'll bring you columns everywhere. No more honeycombs. The garage is taking shape. Forest of cocoa, rebar and columns.
We're still fishing for water. The first volts are going up. And we have some more wall footings. I hope you can join us then.